Hi, everyone. About a minute on my latest piece on Substack. It's called COP28 Gets Coal in Its Stocking. We're here about two weeks before Christmas. Uh, the COP28 meeting in Dubai is winding up without any apparent agreement uh, to phase out hydrocarbons, and that's not surprising. Uh, but in my view, the, the hydrocarbon that was looming over COP28 and continues to uh, uh, shadow the entire global energy sector is the coal market. Uh, it doesn't get much coverage. It doesn't get as much coverage as the gas market or the oil market. But the reality is that today, still globally, coal provides uh, the fuel for about 35% of all global electricity generation. And the reason I wrote the piece is because just a few days before the meeting at COP28, Global Energy Monitor issued a report that said that right now there's about 200,000 megawatts of new coal-fired capacity under construction around the world, with two-thirds of that in China. So to put that in context, 200,000 megawatts of coal-fired capacity globally, that's roughly equal to the entire coal fleet in the United States. So that's what's under construction, 200,000 megawatts uh, globally. In addition, there's another 350,000 megawatts, 350 gigawatts of coal-fired capacity that has either been announced, pre-permitted, or permitted. So this is just a massive amount of, of new capacity uh, that if all of it gets built is going to result in enormous amounts of new CO2 emissions, um, but also, of course, for the countries that are building it, stable supplies of electricity. And that's why countries are turning to coal. Uh, it's cheap. The supply are abundant. They're geographically widespread. Uh, they're, the coal price isn't affected by any OPEC-like entities. Um, and the technology is mature and well-developed, and, and coal is easy to store. So all of these reasons uh, are fueling coal demand, um, but it doesn't get much coverage. And so I wrote about it on my Substack because um, I've been following the coal market for a long time. And the reason these countries are burning coal is, again, the iron law of electricity. People, countries, and businesses will do whatever they have to do to get the electricity they need. Um, so I'll stop there. Check out my Substack. You know where to find it. It's robertbrice.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.